Fair enough. Avinash, uh, coming on something like an Axis Bank, how would you look at it? I think uh, clearly, you know, uh, the markets would have taken it positively if this, uh, you know, this uh, asset was earlier uh, indicated that it could go bad. I think uh, the surprise was that uh, these assets were sold to ARCs at a significant discount. In mm -hmm. fact, uh, 1800 crores worth of assets being sold at uh, 600 crores. I think uh, 500 crores they probably were going to get in terms of some bonds. Mm -hmm. I think the markets are looking at a big uh, kind of loss, you know, from these assets. And more importantly, uh, you know, uh, the name of the uh, borrower has not been mentioned. So I think to that extent there is some uh, you know di discontent from most of the large institutional kind of investors that clearly you know uh, this was a bank which was considered to be a very professionally managed one, mm. uh, third largest uh, private. Yeah, and I bank. think uh, the way it was done, the results came out during market hours. Then later after market hours, there was a call and this was disclosed. Right? I mean, this was. Uh, I mean, I, I think the whole thing could have been. It could have been uh, better presented. Better. I think you know, it's, because it's more than the loss itself. It's about essentially the. The, uh, you know, having, having uh, you know, uh, being kept in the dark in a way. And it's uh, a so, big amount. I mean, yeah. it's not a very small amount. So to that extent, uh, you know, the book size of sure. Axis Bank may be very large, but this particular asset, I think markets are getting shivers that probably some other private sector yeah. banks yeah. also could have these kind of, you know, issues. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh,